Welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is decomposition reaction. Friends, as you know, there are number of types of reactions and decomposition reaction is the type of reaction that we are about to study. Decomposition reaction. The word decomposition tells us that it means we are decomposing or breaking down something. In simple words, breaking of a large substance into smaller substances is decomposition. So, how do we define decomposition reactions? Decomposition reactions are the reactions in which a single reactant breaks down into two or more products. Let us take an example of decomposition reaction. Take about 2 grams of ferrous sulfate crystals in a dry boiling tube. Note the color. Now, heat this and observe the color of crystals after heating. You will observe that the color of ferrous sulfate changes from light green to white. You will also observe a characteristic smell of sulfur and on further heating of the white substance, it will turn into brownish black color. So, we can say that ferrous sulfate crystals decompose to form ferric oxide which is brown in color, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. So students, this is an example of decomposition reaction. Why? Because one reactant, that is ferrous sulfate, is breaking down to produce ferric oxide, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. In this reaction, you can observe that a single reactant breaks down to give simpler products. This is a decomposition reaction. Ferrous sulfate crystals FeSO4-7H2O lose water when heated and the color of the crystals changes. It then decomposes to ferric oxide Fe2O3, sulfur dioxide SO2 and sulfur trioxide SO3. Ferric oxide is a solid, while SO2 and SO3 are gases. Isn't it fun? Let us now discuss one more example of decomposition reaction, which is decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. It is an important decomposition reaction used in various industries. Calcium oxide is called lime or quicklime is used in the manufacture of cement. Also, when a decomposition reaction is carried out by heating, it is called thermal decomposition. Let us take one more example of decomposition reaction. Take about 2 grams lead nitrate powder in a boiling tube. Hold the boiling tube with a pair of tongs and heat it over a flame. You will observe the emission of brown fumes. These fumes are of nitrogen dioxide, NO2. The reaction that takes place is lead nitrate decomposes to form lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Friends, let us discuss an interesting decomposition reaction, which is electrolysis of water. Yes, children, water can be broken down into H2 and O2 on passing an electric current through it. The chemical equation for this is 2H2O results in 2H2 plus O2. Decomposition of silver chloride 
is another interesting example of decomposition reaction. To perform this reaction, place a small quantity of silver chloride AgCl in a watch glass under sunlight for some time. The crystals slowly acquire a grey colour. This is because the sunlight has caused decomposition of silver chloride into silver and chlorine. The reaction for this is silver chloride on decomposition by sunlight breaks down to form silver and chlorine. Silver bromide also behaves in a similar way. The reaction shows that yellow colored silver bromide decomposes by the action of sunlight to give out silver and bromine. These reactions are used in black and white photography. Do you know these decomposition reactions? always require some energy. This required energy is either in the form of heat, light or electricity for breaking down the reactants. Reactions in which energy is absorbed are known as endothermic reactions. Absorption of energy causes the breaking of the bonds present in the reacting substance which decomposes to give the products. So friends, Today we have studied decomposition reaction. In the next video, we will learn about displacement and double displacement reactions.